It's Trenna from John's Furniture Repair in the shop with another project. It's this cedar chest. It's got a lot of water damage, veneer issues, and a drawer that's completely falling apart. So let me show you to some details. Okay, first off, we've got a lot of finish failure. This thing was in a moist environment and we've got a lot of the finish just peeling off because of that. And along with that, we've got veneer issues happening a lot all over. You can see here, so it's probably swollen a little bit underneath. This is a solid piece, thank goodness. Um, inside, we've got everything looking pretty okay. We're not doing much with the inside, maybe just a little wipe down, but it's in pretty good shape. So it has a good smell of cedar. Um, this section of the piece, didn't get a lot of water, so it seems okay, but the drawer definitely took a hit. So the panels, actually I pulled them out already and peeled off a layer of veneer. They are destroyed, so we're gonna have to do a new bottom on both sides and uh, get that re-glued back together. A lot of finish still, issues on the solid pieces that are broken and more veneer on this side as well. So we're gonna get it taken apart and start doing some repairs and strip it down. Let's get going. After growing up in my dad's restoration shop and learning everything he knows, I'm continuing on with the business in my own shop. And after 25 years, I can truly say, I love this job and I just have to share it with you. Whether it's a priceless 300 year old hand carved piece of history or just an ordinary table or dresser, I pour my heart into each and every piece a customer brings me. I'm Trenna, and this is John's Furniture Repair. Okay, so I've got a couple of new boards cut here. Got everything taken apart, lid off, all that stuff. Here are the old ones. They're a really thin ply, so I had to actually use um, an old mirror backing, which is a really thin ply as well. And I'm just going to be veneering it with a very thin veneer, which is the only veneer I could actually find. It's a cedar veneer. It's very aromatic. They advertise it as a drawer liner. So I'm going to actually be gluing it to these drawers with just regular carpenter's glue. And because this is an old piece of ply and that is paper, I need to use a lot of glue because it's gonna soak in to both products and it needs to be able to actually hit the top layer of that veneer right through the paper before drying out. And the other thing is because it's so thin, it's gonna to wanna to ripple. So I'm gonna stick it under a weight. So I'm just gonna spread this around with the silicone glue spreader. I don't want to take any glue off. I just want to even some peaks so it grabs evenly. Okay. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to go over the edge a little bit, line up the edge as best as possible. Move it on over. Then I'm gonna take my veneer hammer and just start gently working the glue into the paper backing. Shift it a little bit. That's it for a bit. I'm gonna cut this. Just line up those edges. Try to get a good seam. So I just want to work that glue into the paper because it's absorbing that glue right now and taking the moisture. And it's going to start getting into the cedar. Sometimes it's a good idea to let the glue tack up a little bit, but I'm gonna set this under some weights so I don't care about that too much. 
I'm just gonna work this for a little bit.
All right, so everything is ready to stain. Got this all hand sanded to 180. Lots of little putty spots, chips. Found a couple of little uh, ones that I missed, which always happens on stuff like this. One more little one right there. So I'm gonna be using Gaudi's Puritan Pine, which is a really light color like it was. Going back to the original. So I'm just gonna get this going and do the top first while these two last repairs dry. And then they should be good by the time I get there. All right, so this thing's got one coat on it and I've sanded it down with 320. So I've got a couple of touch-ups to do on areas that were repaired and putty and all that kind of jazz. So what I'm gonna be using is a mixture of extra dark walnut and medium brown walnut, which is also the toners I'm gonna to be using to blend in and give this piece a little bit more warmth. Especially on the base, it's different wood, so we need to tone that down a bit. And I just want to add a little bit more of the traditional orangey walnut, which I know some of you are like, oh my goodness, this girl does old-fashioned finishes. <laughs> and I also do other ones. Check out a couple weeks ago when we did a bleached oak set. I just do what my customers want. So we're going to get this guy back to the original color, which is pretty classic and looks pretty good on these guys. And uh, yeah, so I'll do a touch of couple touch-ups.
And there it is, all finished up and looking nice and neat. All its veneer back in place, nice and clean. A good finish back on and the color looking nice and original. So you remember all repairs on the top. We had a couple of little veneer repairs, mainly the one on the side here, not noticeable now. We did have uh, quite a few veneer repairs on this drawer along the bottom. So looking really nice. And of course we did new cedar veneered plywood inside, rebuilt the whole drawer, whole new finish. The sides were uh, completely lifted, a veneer there as well. Both sides were like that. And we just did a nice cleanup on the inside. This is kind of hard to do with one hand. Turn and lift. There we go. So nice and clean now, it doesn't smell like mold. A little bit wet still for me, wiping it down for dust. But yeah, looking really sharp. So thanks for joining me on this restoration. If you enjoyed it, um, you can support this channel by buying me a coffee. The link is in the description below the video. And also I just appreciate all your beautiful comments and encouragement as we um, finish the last things in our shop. Still a few things to come. Still not looking super empty, but emptier than it has been. Lots of exciting things coming from this shop before we move. So thanks again, and I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.